the energy of that okay. to say that like, oh, you have no reason to feel insecure about this. You're being immature. Hello. Hello. Yeah, the Mike and Ed, when you're in the Mike and Ed colony, and he's going, I'm coming, you're oh, coming. Oh, yeah, 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 he does. I'm yeah, coming, he you're does. coming, you're yeah. coming, I'm coming. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's coming. Yeah, he does. Um, I think it's so funny when you're browsing on Reddit, and it tells you how many people are uh, online in the subreddit. Oh, and yes. And it said, um, it was like... Uh, 40,000 people judging you for R M I the asshole. Um, oh and, all I could, and all I could think in there was 40,000 people looking for podcast topics. Yes, a thousand percent. And for finally, it's us. that's us today. It's us. I have. We're sellouts like, and I don't like care. It's like the thing. It's like the thing when like it's popular so you don't want to like it. Yes. But also I want to do it too. I want to have fun. Mm -hmm. I'm fun. Also, I can judge things. You're very good at judging things. We both are. But also, if we've learned anything mm -hmm. from our time as insufferable hipsters in God the early 2000s, it's that it's not fucking fun, actually, no. to be the person who's like, I liked it before you did, and I don't care about yeah. popular things. Like, cool. Do you win an award? Like, I, like honestly. Do you, nobody's, nobody cares. It's like that... Um, that meme from Jurassic Park where he's like, see, see, nobody cares. No, cares. no literally. I think <laughs> literally that, that. Um, also just as a, a quick, it's not even a self own, but I have what? been very much committed to my, um, I will learn everything on my own using Google and going yes, through it. Yes, doing it and the hard way. And I finally was brave and I found a place to go take lessons yeah. for music. Um, yeah. Because I've, so I've been doing music like my, our, our, our whole, whole life, life basically. basically. Yeah. Um, but I'm very committed to my way of learning everything on my own and yes. doing it the hard way. And it's like, yes. if you don't create it from scratch on your uh -huh. own, it, like you yes. can't like, but You're, anyways. The way that I am with like our logos and our merch and all yes. of that, we're like, if I didn't design every single piece of it, then, then like, like does it, it doesn't count? count as making yes. it is how you are with music. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I'm so proud of you for just saying like, fuck it i want to learn how to do this thing and i want it to be fun but do it well well and like i don't need to suffer and like spin, i feel like just spinning the yes. spinning of wheels yes there's no glory in martyrdom god no and also you know? just wasted so much time also yeah, i fun. felt it's so funny but like because obviously they have classes for children and of group class. no yeah. i know but i just feel like hello i'm a 30 year old i would like to yeah. Granted, they're private lessons, so it's different. But, but just still. like, how, like I, I just, it's giving a Billy Madison. Like I just picture myself <laughs> with like baby's first acoustic guitar yes. in a yeah. class full of like, like six-year-olds. You're going to learn on a Fisher yes. Price one. <laughs> um, no. But also, speaking of Fisher Price, we had the most difficult. I cannot understate. We wanted to do I'm the. So can you can you can you share yes. the story because so, this was my first time experiencing yes, this. Yes, I will explain. So I, like any you know other person, was just browsing TikTok, looking at my for like you page, like a regular human. And a video came up of this influencer talking about doing uh, Christmas angel shopping, and I was like, oh my god, I completely forgot that that was like a thing because oh, we yeah. did that religiously every year for Christmas I never... when I was a kid. Um, I think it's like very much. We like, did like the toy drives normally, not like the specific. Like I've never done fair. the yeah the like angel tree thing. Yeah, um, but I think especially like because we didn't grow up with a lot of money, my parents felt really strongly about like giving back to other people. And yeah. like I think I've told you before. I think to talk to. I think I've talked about it on the internet before that like our house was like the Kool Aid house. You oh know? yeah. The house that like if some kid came home with me from school or like showed up at our doorstep, like my parents would never turn them away. Of course. They we would always like divide food to like make room for other people at yeah. our table and like that kind of thing. So my mom was like just, you know, perpetually like buying snacks and whatever. So she just felt really strongly about it. So we did that every year. And like for those of you who don't know, the way that it works basically is that usually there's like a local chapter of some charity. Mm -hmm. Here it's the Salvation Army, which like we don't need to get into that. <laughs> Not a fan. Um, however, they're the only people who organize that particular drive here. And like, it's a good cause. So like, you know, necessary evils and whatever. But the way that it works is that they put together a list of families and children mm -hmm. who essentially can't afford to buy Christmas gifts for their kids. And the way that it worked when I was a kid is that they would interview the families and like, especially for little kids, right? Like it's mostly parents talking about like what their kids are interested yeah, so in the or parents whatever. Are the ones who are creating or submitting typically the... typically okay. um it i'm not sure to what degree like i'm sure that there are kids who are aware that like 
we can't afford Christmas gifts yeah. this year. And so we're being put on this list. And so maybe mom and, and dad or parents or whoever um, are asking like, hey, you know, what do you want me to put yeah. on this for you? Uh, but especially like for little kids who like can't speak. Of course. Um, the way that it worked in years past, or at least when I was a kid, is that they would put like the kids interest, right? Like things that they're interested in, topics, like especially, um, you know, like if there's TV shows or like a movie or whatever. Like Paw Patrol comes to mind and like yes. all that stuff. Yeah, I'm sure exactly. Bluey right now. Bluey. Is, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. So they put that on there, but then they also put like the kids um, clothing sizes, shoe oh, sizes. Yes. That's what you were describing um, to me. Yes. Yes. Any other like needs, those kinds of things, yeah. right? And so essentially the way that it works is that you go to like Walmart or the mall or what the fuck ever and you pick a tag off of this tree yes. and you can go shopping shopping and get them anything that you want off of this tag mm -hmm. right the expectation being that like if you want to get them the toy or like you know just a thing related yes. to their interest you can do that if you want to go ham and get something for like, like everything yeah. on the tag you can do that um but basically it's a way to bridge the gap so that kids don't wake up to an empty, empty christmas of course tree. But so we decided to go do this. Um, Sound like fun? Yeah, because we can I, do this. We know how to buy kids' well, toys. And I have such fond memories of that from yeah. when I was a kid because I always felt so good about like you know I really love Christmas and I you know feel really good seeing stuff under the tree and like I oh, yeah. don't Who want other it? kids to grow to feel... up feeling sad you know so I like loved it when I was a kid and I was like oh this would be like fun you know yeah. like, you don't have fucking kids <laughs> but like that doesn't mean we can't but do we something have money? nice yeah exactly right, money enough to buy kids toys exactly and so we went to the mall here first which we'll get into that after we'll <laughs> yes. we'll touch that after um but they didn't have anything there and i was like oh. okay not even like a toy drive no box. no no and so we had a conversation on the way there because i was like listen i don't really know how this works now like Same. many years have passed so it might be that they just do a toy drive like you were talking about yeah and i was like if that's the case then we'll just buy some toys and put them in the toy drive box and like that's Bingo fine, Mario. right? Like we're still doing a nice thing yeah. and that's fine. Um, but we didn't even find a toy drive box no. at the mall. So we go to Walmart, find this tag. And the way that it works now, apparently, I, please sound off in the comments. Is it like this where you live? I was about to say, is this just how it's changed? Because like, I don't know if this is like a thing once you, or if what it's you just us. What you described to me yeah. and what we were presented with. Not the same. Not the same. Not the same. Not even close. Um, Because the tag that we found had like the child's well, there were only age. Three, so there were only three left. Yes. Which also I think is a good thing. I, I, right? Like the, box was, the box was packed. Yes. was full. That did make my heart happy that yeah, like... Basically, there's no kids left um, to buy stuff yeah. for because they've already had their stuff bought. Because we went, to, we had, ended up having to go to Walmart. Yes, we had not been to a Walmart in years. That was um, exactly that as I remembered it. Um, but, so we're looking at these tags, and it says like a very. I'm not going to say the thing. No, yeah. But like it said, a very specific name of a toy. How bad could it was? And I was like, oh, this is. I, cause I my yeah. impression was like, oh, this is awesome. This is going to be cake. Yeah. We just go to so the toy like, aisle. Because initially, I'm like a little bit put off by this because I'm like. Well, first of all, that's not very fun because I like spoiling people and of like course. I feel like it would have been nice to like be able to Do buy this yeah. kid. Yeah. Like all of the things on here. Yeah. Right. But I was like, whatever. Right. Like I'm making it about me. The point of doing something <laughs> nice is to do what yeah. people are asking you to do yes. and not for your own ego. So like you mean getting gifts isn't for exactly. yourself. Yeah. So I'm like internally being like, shut the fuck up. Like quit being such a fucking white savior weirdo, yeah. like buy the kid what they asked for yeah. and like, you know, actually do something nice. I was like, oh, that's perfect. They're going to get exactly what they want. Yes. No one's mad. No yeah. one's upset. Like so we go to the toy aisle excuse me, toy aisles, because yeah. there's like 12. But also Walmart. the fact that they're not all together <laughs> that in a store. So mad. Why? So mad. Oh my God. I don't Because think... the toy that we were looking for is like vaguely food related, right? How they have like all the it was food like a play cooking things. Thing. Yeah, like yeah. A... And so it had like a very specific brand name, like like it was like an item. It wasn't oh yeah, like... we like Googled it so we knew what we were looking yes, for. Yes, so it wasn't like, like a... food related toys. It was like a specific like thing. A play, it was a playset. Yeah. yeah. Like a... um, and so we're looking for like that type of thing, right? Because yeah. there's like kitchen sets and grill sets and pots and pans and, sets and like the baking bake things yeah. yeah and so i'm like okay if we just find the food section good to go surely we can find that toy there and we'll call it a yeah. day except that walmart has like 17 aisles of toys and there's like food related toys in every aisle I, and i can't tell because they were like it would say like fisher price was this yeah. this aisle uh -huh. and then you get in there and there's like the v the, yeah. the whatever the other brand the, is like everything yeah, is like just, one two three and then like yeah. everything is everything so like why what is yeah. even I don't know. And I know that to some degree, a lot of it is probably separated by age, which makes sense. That makes sense. Right? But that wasn't even the case because we found like toys of the same age group. Yeah. Like at the fucking front of the store. Like, I don't know if those are like that? the hot items or like they made another know. aisle for. I don't know. But um, anyways, all of that to say that we spent an ungodly amount of time in Walmart. Like we both had a headache a by the time we left. Because we were, we were just walking. We rest out of our we minds. Are, like, I felt like we were doing the most difficult scavenger hunt. Yes. Well, and also and because like, the aisles are like, like the, the shelves oh, are so yeah. high. So you're. 
Remember when we used to time. sit at Target, or I, I would sit at Target and play video yes. games, and they had the uh-huh. TVs up here, and <laughs> we're just sitting up there. Yes. Like that was Walmart. Used, yeah, that was old Walmart. Walmart. Too? Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I used to do that for hours. Like yeah. mom be shopping, like I'm gonna go what? play video games. Yeah, that's crazy. You just go play my, the games for free. Are you kidding me? My parents had entirely too much anxiety to leave me alone. Oh, I like don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I like was distinctly aware from the time that I was like four or five that like you could get baby napped and like oh. you do not let go of the cart when I you're was, in the grocery store. I was a. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. I was a homely looking little child. No. Yeah. <laughs> no one was snagging your me. Your mom just was like, that's fine. You you be there. I don't think I'll I was like a later. child. I was like pre-teens. Like, Still. That was like not an okay thing. These are the 2000s we're talking no about. No wonder I'm so anxious. No wonder. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, all of that to say we didn't end up finding the toy. And I was really sad. It was such a bummer. Um, We ended up having to put it back on the tree because I was like, I literally don't know what to do. Like, I don't think that store... That, well, and I looked on Amazon because I was like, I don't know, maybe we can just buy it on Amazon, right? Yeah. But like the delivery's going to take forever because Amazon is fucking inundated oh, yeah. right now with Christmas shopping. So I was like, fuck. So we just ended up donating money um, to the two because there's like yeah. a spot on their website that you can just donate money for uh, the Salvation Army to bridge the gap for yeah. whatever kids didn't get their stuff bought. So we just donated money because but I was like, I don't know what else to do. Also, like, I felt so bad, but I also, because we tried it with three different children. Yeah. To, mm-hmm. And we scoured. Yeah. Every, like, it I was have stuff I'm, that I'm just like, I've never heard of this. Yes. Or like, if Walmart did have this, it's definitely fucking gone now. Or like, not here. Yeah. I don't know I don't if know. they never had it or. Yeah. Because also, of course, it's, you know, we went on a Saturday in the middle of the day and yeah, so, no, which Sunday. Was stupid. Um, yeah, that was our fault. And the aisles are just like, you can tell they haven't been yeah. situated or rearranged in no. in a while. No. And so there's just like just toys and drones, which is like everywhere. perfect. Like, let it be. Yeah, but fine. Also, not for when you're looking for no. something. No, yeah, it was very stressful. Speaking of toys. What? Are we ready to Are we ready are we to talking rant? about it? Yes. Okay. So I love. I, you do too. The old nostalgia videos <gasps> yes. on TikTok, oh like so, God. like shopping in the '90s uh, yeah. at the mall during Christmas time. And so we went to the mall, yeah. and it's gonna. If you guys can have a little bit of patience, it's gonna. I know we wax on, yeah, and we love to complain about capitalism. And listen, but like, I don't, I don't take it back. Guys, I'm not sorry. You know, you, we know our audience. We know you guys are in the same boat. Mm-hmm. You get it. We hate, you know, eat the rich. But anyways, I think when. We describe or we talk about like the things capitalism has stolen. Yes. And like, like obviously like online stolen. shopping and stuff, love it for the convenience and stuff. But yeah, of course, course there is um, like things aren't the same. No. Obviously. No. Yeah. Um, so like it makes sense. So like when we were in the mall, I noticed I told Mickey, I was like, do you notice like no one has shopping bags? Yeah. It was really weird. Like, the, I didn't the notice mall until was pretty you said busy. something. And then I was like hyper aware of it. Yeah. Like the mall was pretty busy, but like there's not like bags and bags of like yeah. one. And I was like, okay, people can't afford things. Like that's understandable. Everything's True. so expensive. Yeah. But also while we were in the mall, because we were looking for a tree yeah. to do the, the, the Christmas, Christmas angel, angel thing. thing. Yeah. Um, um, there's no tree. The only decorations they really had set up in the mall it was that shitty tree in the middle with fucking with Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. Yeah. And otherwise, like mm-hmm. not really like the mall could like you. It could be summer. It could be winter. Like you wouldn't yeah. know any no. other than that tree in the middle. There's like um, no festivities happening. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that's just such a bummer. And yeah. we, Mickey and I were talking about because when we were growing up, mm-hmm. the mall we lived by in Phoenix. Um, oh yes, it's like it, the like, mall came alive. It was like during a different. I want to pause really quick because we are very much not the like. There's a war on Christmas. People. No, God, it's not fuck about fucking no. Christmas. I don't give a fuck about that. I mean, I like Christmas obviously as a holiday, but like it's more about like the festive like there was lights everywhere and decorations like, yes like, yeah like even yeah. um in like a non-denominational sense right like yeah they're just being like little lights and like candles or like not real yeah. candles obviously but just like like greenery and like and i don't know if this is our area i love the glitter again you know? too yeah that's um fair. we're going back home soon so maybe we'll visit our old mall and see and check in and see wait that would be so fun yeah well, we can go check we it out we should check that. it out but I, I would be curious if anyone else is having, I would imagine at like major malls and stuff. Like I know granted. That's true. If you live in like a really big city. But I would maybe. like to think, I feel like most malls, anyway, the whole point of this and like <laughs> the disappearing of color that we were talking about and yes. stuff and all that too. Yeah, that we talked so about in a recent episode. We're going to show some videos here. Yeah. And like when boomers talk about like, oh, well, back in my day, like yeah. this world that they grew up in. It just like, and, like does older, not like, exist. It does not exist anymore. And it no. makes me so viscerally upset. It hurts my and heart. And sad. Yes. Because, because also along with this is like, we were talking about this when we yeah. watched one of these videos because you were like, for free? Like they just had all this stuff out no, for you to little, enjoy. Like, just but like decorations I, and decorations. Yes, because I remember being a kid and like half of the appeal or like even a teenager, half of the appeal of going shopping yeah. at like a mall or like the outlets or whatever is that it was like this... It was like experiential, yeah. right? There was like so much stuff to see and smell and look at. Yeah. And there was just like, I don't know, it was like so, so enveloping much, like, to this do. experience. Yeah. yeah. And now I feel like there is such 
a like lack of drive for people to buy stuff in stores because of online shopping of and all of that. And like, because companies don't give a fuck about consumers. And so it's mm-hmm. all about like minimizing waste yeah. and like, you know, spent dollars and whatever. And so stores are just like, like there's no store displays anymore. There's, right. And like, also there's no like toys. Yeah. I felt like, like the Do mall was going, devoid of yes. like, Do you remember no, going to KB toys? KB toys. I was gonna say KB toys, <gasps> so uh, toys are us. Yes. But like, also where they had like a tester, like you as a kid, could go into KB Toys and play with yeah. the toy for like an undetermined amount of time. Oh, I don't remember that, but yeah, like yeah, they had like I, tester toys out, and like that was half of the appeal. And also, why my parents hated taking us there because they knew stuck. we were going to get locked in there for yeah. fucking hours because you could actually play with the stuff. I just it was fun, and like I understand with COVID and everything too, of but course. just like yeah, there's just certain aspects that like I miss that, the though. the need for like efficiency and for yes. capitalizing on a dollar yeah. and like because we even talked about that too. Even if we had found yeah. a Christmas angel, At I mall. don't know what store we would have went into at the mall and i don't know if it's because we live and like we don't live in the the wealthiest part of town that's um, fair actually yeah but certainly like we're not like off in the boonies either like no yeah it's not like we live somewhere that's like super rural with like like you know one stoplight kind of a situation like there's definitely the traffic to support that but it's just not there i'm just so curious what other people's experiences are in their own local malls and like towns and stuff because i feel like i just feel like I don't give a fuck about Christmas specifically or anything, but yes, I think the exactly. general holiday spirit. Yes. And I think so. Can, we, can you can you share? Yes. Can we play some of those videos? Yeah. Um, I don't know if the sound for this will be copyrighted. If it is, we'll have to remove it. We can just talk as it's like. I do like the sound, though. Oh, I yeah. think the nostalgia video is part of what makes them is the music that they okay. play behind them personally. Hold, please. I have to find it. I watch a lot of TikTok. This one says POV Christmas shopping in the mall in 1990. Okay. Yeah. Like, look at. That's what, like, the, that like, is garlands. not what our mall looked like. Like, there's, like, four or five Christmas trees. Yeah. But also, too, like, I do remember, like, we were laughing because we went into Dillard's um, and, like, who the fuck shops at Dillard's? Yeah. And, like, I know, I know there are plenty of people that shop at Dillard's, obviously. Yeah. But, like, the, the store itself, like, there's no fun anything happening in there. No. Like, the department it was, stores it, used to be, like, lit during that's Christmas what I'm saying. time. But, like... There was no... I know. Like, the the mall was raw. There's, like, no anything. Like, you, like, if you didn't know any better and, like, you didn't know anything about, I don't know, like, Christmas or, like, you or know, you're, like, a Martian. Was, or, yeah. Yeah, and you just, like, show up here. Like, you wouldn't necessarily know that it's Christmas until you got out to, like, the big Christmas tree thing. Yeah. Like, maybe by, like, some of the store signs that say, like, Christmas sale or whatever, but, like... Otherwise, you would have no idea. It's not really... And, like, that one store giving. has, like, so many trees inside of it. I know. Yes, the, but I have to find that one. And look at um, and I made my, look at all the bags people were carrying. Okay, somebody also pointed something out too. Tell me. Um, that like because one of these is like Christmas shopping in the the late two thousands or something. Okay. Um, and they were like, "Isn't it crazy how like in this video people are looking up and around and like at each other and they're yeah. not locked on their phones? That like." Like, that's, like, a thing that doesn't exist anymore. Like, Honestly. <laughs> if you walk around at the mall now, everybody's staring at their fucking phones. Like, that's I've never, so sad. I haven't gone, because I will say the mall we go to is older. Yeah. Or, like, the clientele is definitely older, I guess. Yeah. But also, I'm at the same time, too. Is that because, like, older people stuck in their ways. Don't want to online shop. Don't want to online shop. And, like, I get <laughs> yes. that. But also, too, after going to, I think this is where it all comes together, too, is what? because after going to Walmart. Yeah. No fucking wonder I'm not going to, I'm going to shop online. Oh, my God. I, you I would not pay me enough money. Especially oh if I God. had kids. Absolutely not. I'm not going to walk around the not. store. Um, no. trying to maybe find you something that I may or may not be there. Almost had a sensory meltdown. Yeah. At Walmart, I can't imagine. Especially because like we are both definitely neurodivergent in some capacity. The odds that we would have neurodivergent kids is very high. Yeah. And so if we did have children, they would for sure have like specific sensory needs. And I yeah. cannot imagine trying to accommodate my needs, your needs, and their <sighs> needs all in one go in this no. store that's like loud and overwhelming and scary and yeah. like frustrating and my neck hurts and I'm hungry and it's hot and I'm sweaty yes. and like am I stinky like just all of, no. too many things too many no. things no absolutely yes. fucking not like you bet your fucking ass I'm buying everything on Amazon and we're not stepping foot in a store I, for like the just, entirety of December but then like I'm also like I don't like I understand like that's how we got to online shopping and stuff too but then like sure we, sure we, yeah we bemoan one and then the other you know it's just so <laughs> yes yeah yeah no it is kind of like the thing that like you can't win because like on one hand like you can pry Mm -hmm. online shopping out of my cold dead hands of course you know um i really do like the convenience of it and like you know i appreciate it yeah but then at the same time it does kind of make me sad that like you can't really go and like do christmas shopping as like an event in the same way that you did when we were kids yeah i feel like it's and i think it's too it's the the like the 
um, loss of third space. Yeah, like there's not really like a uh-huh. like a holiday fun. Like I guess downtown is kind of sure decorated to some. But degree. even then, like and a like, lot of that is like a paywall, right? Like yeah. you either have to buy tickets to an event, or the expectation yeah. being that you'll like buy food or buy stuff when you get there. Yeah, you can't just it's go like, and like muck about. It's something that is still sort of centered around capitalism yeah. in some form or fashion, which it's is really just, disappointing. Yeah, and I think I can it's only. Sad. It's just, it's a bummer. Thanks for bringing that up, babe. That's okay. Speaking um, of being judgy, though. Yeah, we do have something fun to talk about today. Okay. Are you Are ready? We, yeah. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I think you should go first. Okay. I've never, I have never officially formally done really? an am I the asshole okay. on a podcast. So Anna I feel like. and I have done them on our pod. Okay. Shout out to our pod. Thanks. We hate it. It's mm-hmm. in the description. And so I will say, like, personally, I find these really fun. I know that, like, you're sort of you know, trying to push past the like inner hipster in you. But we all know that I love judging people. So you are good at it. You've been practicing it for a very long time, a lot longer than I have. I have yeah. slowly come You've into. You've become a judgy ass. I have. Yeah. No, I've been. A well, I was judgy about lives. things that felt important to me. But now like now <laughs> it's just weren't. built over into everything. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much anytime if I say I don't have an opinion about something, I probably definitely do. And I'm just being nice. <laughs> Okay, before we read this, I want to okay. be clear. Aaron and I haven't looked at the comments for these. So I'm going to read. Blind. I, I don't know anything about anything. Yeah, well, and we're going to read through the post, talk about it ourselves, mm-hmm. and then look at the comments to see if, like, you know, the Reddit community at large agrees with our yeah. opinion. Um, I didn't realize how popular Am I the Asshole is. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was like, I thought it was like a larger subreddit because I know mm-hmm. obviously people use it for raid farming and clickbaiting and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. We're in the club. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome. But everybody. I didn't realize how big mm-hmm. of a subreddit a big, it was. It's like it's 12, 13 subreddit. million people. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. It's pretty intense. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. So this says, Am I the Asshole for removing, removing my top on a nude beach with my sister and our husbands? Okay. It would be great to get some external opinions on this, please. We are on holidays in Maritas? I don't know. My female 26, sister female 36, and her husband male 35, and my husband male 30. Just near our hotel, there is a nude-friendly beach, so not everybody is naked, but it is accepted, and my sister and I kept making jokes a few days ago about going there to tan our breasts. We walked by the place on Thursday, and I decided to order drinks and sit on the sunbeds, but we did not have bathing suits as it wasn't planned. Our husbands removed their shirts, and mine told me, you can finally tan those tits. Uh, I thought to myself, yeah, true, why not? So I removed my top and my skirt and lied on the sunbed next to my husband. I was very surprised that my sister did not proceed to do the same, given our previous jokes. She kept kept her clothes on and downed her drink very quickly. Later at night, she refused to eat with us, said she can't believe uh, I exposed my breasts and my thong to her husband and that I should have been aware that she hates her body and I would have never undressed in such a a context. Um, I'm so lost. I feel I did nothing wrong, but it's been two full days that we are cold to each other and it pollutes the trip. I am not sure what my sister thinks of me now. Our husbands could not care less and are just enjoying their time together. (laughs) This is so nice compared to my situation. Am I the asshole? I know. Damn. Okay, so initial impressions. Do you have thoughts? So my initial thought is, well, my first thought is that the dudes are still just having a good old time. Uh, (laughs) Meanwhile, they're... Beef between the wives. Yeah. I know. Like, are they not in... I don't know. Also, clearly, if it's a new... Like, it's... uh, you know, we're in a um, environmentally like that's the yeah. place to be. This to is do. like an, an appropriate yeah, action like, in this. Environment. Yeah, it's not like you're flashy. You're like, yeah, yeah. It's not like she got naked I at the regular beach. Think because also to my initial thought, I feel is there a judgment on this yet? Mm-mm. My initial thought is that her sister, the so the let me to help me understand. Yeah, the older sister is the one that was mad at the younger sister. Yes. The older sister is the one who said so she hates her body. Sister and her husband are 36 and 35 respectively. Okay. OP and OP's husband are 26 and 30. Yeah, so the younger, the younger sibling Correct. is writing this. That her sister kind of like catfished her or like hoodwinked uh-huh. her a little bit into it. Like, yeah. we're going to do this thing and then and got then, her excited about it. And then like, yes. was like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that thing we said we were going to do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What are your... And also that like you should have read my mind that I didn't really mean it. Yeah. But then also to like, also so, if you hate your body, that's, that's you on you, not yes. on you to... You know? Yes. So I have several thoughts about this. Also, it's giving jealous. It or, a little or, bit. Yeah. yeah. The thing that I'm confused about, first of all, okay. is why the older sister is hurt in the first place. Yeah. Because I can understand, I, I guess, like feeling insecure and like feeling jealous or hurt 
um, that somebody is not being like receptive to that, but like someone exposing their body because they're not ashamed or embarrassed of their body isn't inherently a dig on you no. for being insecure about your body. Right. And I was fully expecting this to be like, a my husband, uh-huh, that's, yeah. exactly, that's exactly where I thought it's we were going to so go. inappropriate that my, you put it in front of my husband. Uh, yes, I, exactly. I, that's what I really Clearly thought was going to happen. Problem. But I don't think that that's the problem either because also the husband seems entirely no, they unbothered seem like the way they've yeah laid the story out it seems like they're yeah. just uh often so, fucking so like i don't really understand like what there is to be upset about yeah. like i'm trying to understand the core hurt on behalf of the older sister but like i just can't really come up with anything because like your sister exposing her boobs in public is like really not also about you, uh, you they're grown adults like well grown yeah yeah, yeah. like 36 and 26 yeah yeah I just like am sort of confused. Also, I think, you know, to be clear, you and I are sort of biased in the sense that like we joked before on the podcast, I think that if we had kids, we would for sure be a naked family, right? Like our kids would tell their friends that like we're a naked family because like I just am not really fond of like wearing clothes when I don't have to. And like I think to some degree, too, it has to help distinct. Yes. To stigmatize. Yeah, exactly. Because I think there's a difference between nudity and like sexual nudity. Of course. They're not Personally, the same. I'm just of the mind that we should really unlearn. How very European this. of you. Well, I mean, like, it doesn't. I agree. Like, it's I very know. Puritan. I, like, I um, sound like such a hippie saying this, but like, we came into the world naked. That's very, that right? is very hippie of you. I love <laughs> like, that. Yeah. Like, that's how we got here. Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's how a lot of us are probably going to leave. Not I just don't true. think it's that big of a deal. I hope personally. I go out naked. Well, yeah. I mean, like, Especially like with the way that mortuary stuff. Well, works. no, yes, like, of course. I mean, you know, you're already yeah. dead when you get to the mortuary. You don't die in the mortuary. Fair, but the, the point I'm that just I'm kidding. making, I'm giving you a hard time. I know the point that I'm making is that I think it's like a natural thing, yeah. And we shouldn't be so worked up mm-hmm. about nudity as if it's like something to be, like it's not really that noteworthy. In it's my just opinion. so interesting to me that it came because, like, my impression would have been like we have already taught, especially at this point too. It's not like. She yeah. went off the rails and mm-hmm. like decided to go rogue. Yeah, exactly. Like this is something we pre- clearly also, she previously. Also, kept her underwear on too. Yeah, I, the thong part. I was like, oh, that's even less. Because I was like, like oh, all right, you know, if you got your kitty out of the beach, like maybe yeah. that's like a little shocking. But also, my impression is they're European or like. You're, well, yeah, they're uh, at they're, a place that like has a nude beach. So well, like, they said they're on holiday. This is fine. Yeah. So that's true. Yeah, only Europeans people say that. So I don't know. Like that's I would stupid. imagine nudity and stuff to them. Uh, my impression is nudity is a lot more. <laughs> yeah, it's well, slightly or, like, less commonplace. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I personally, I don't think she's the asshole. I don't think so at all. Okay. I think this one's a pretty clear cut. Did that one have a? It, there was no rating on it. Do you want to look at the comments? Um, yeah, I guess it's always a little. Okay, it's always interesting. So the top comment from seven hours ago has twelve thousand upvotes. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, this is not the asshole. Yeah, okay. Your sister is delegating the control of her feelings and issues to you. People on here who are saying that men are fascinated with boobs and you should have thought of her husband are of the ilk that would infer it's a woman's fault if she was assaulted because of her clothing. Wow. Yeah. Enjoy your body. It sounds like you have a wonderful husband. <laughs> I was gonna say Actually, yeah. Yeah. Shouts out to uh, shouts on- all those outs. Um, honestly, to like both of the husbands yeah. in this situation of just being like. Whatever. I, that's, uh-huh. what I'm, that's why I'm confused because <laughs> like, I feel like that's definitely where I thought this was going. Yeah, but I feel like that's the way it should be. Absolutely. If somebody wants to get naked, that's their business. Let that's their be. body. And unless you've been invited mm-hmm. to participate in their nudity, it's none of your goddamn business. Uh, yeah. You know? I think clear, clear cut. Uh, if you so have different too. opinions, please sound off. And yeah. we could definitely... Uh, I'd have, Very much ready for you guys to get yeah. mad at us about something in this episode. <laughs> um, we're all friends here, okay? Yeah. Okay. So read Let's me one of it. yours. Oh, yeah. Am I the asshole for asking boyfriend to not start going to church on a regular basis? Okay. I am not telling him he can't practice his religion or go to church. I reacted the way I did because he accepted me to know his change of faith without ever telling me. Yesterday, I, 18 female, told my boyfriend, 18 male, of eight months that I, quotations, eight months, oh my God, I would be uncomfortable if you started attending church regularly, unquote. He said, that's fine, as in he's fine with me being uncomfortable. (laughs) For background, one of the first things I ask in the beginning of a relationship is if they attend church. He said, no, his family, don't do that. Oh, it's like, no, we, his family, they don't go to church. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. At a family dinner recently, his mom asked me if I would ever attend with them. I, never having gone to church and never planning on it, Mm -hmm. said I would think about it in a snotty tone. She responded, we will discuss this later. So the oh. family said that oh. to the, yeah. the woman writing this. We will discuss uh, The dinner was later. very awkward from there on out. Ooh-y. A few days pass and Saturday rolls around and I ask if he wants to get breakfast tomorrow, mm-hmm. Sunday. And he says, no, I have church with my mom. Oh. I was kind of taken aback because he said that he doesn't like church and doesn't plan on attending. 
I ask if it's going to be a regular thing. Yeah. And so, if so, I'm not comfortable with that. I am not comfortable because that would mean he lied about his feelings. First, he says, you don't have to be religious to go to church. Mm -hmm. Then he says, what? what does my faith have to do with you? I oh. say, what's the sudden change of faith? He responds with, lady, I'm going to church with my mom once. Okay. This is my tipping point. Am I the asshole? Obviously not the best written one. No. Ever, but I think I kind of get the gist of it. So basically, yeah. we say we don't go to church. Yeah. We start going to church. She's blindsided. Okay. So can you clarify something for yeah. me? Is it clear from the written post that the boyfriend in this exchange lied about not going to church? Or is it that when they first met, he didn't go to church and now he's changed his mind and he does? Like, was there like a concealing of his religious involvement or did he just genuinely I'm change his mind? I'm curious if he lied. Yeah, because she's re representing it as though he lied. Yeah. But I don't know if that's the case. Because if he lied, that sucks, obviously. Like, yeah. lying is fucking shitty. I think... Which also feels like the sort of evangelism thing that people do where they're like, come to my house for a happy hour. And then yeah. all of a sudden it's Bible study. Yeah. Like, that sucks, you know? Because my impression of this, too, if that's something you ask, obviously I would be interested, like, for them to go into detail on why. Mm -hmm. But, like, also you don't have to justify that. Like, if you're asking that's and it's not like something it. that's important you to you like or doesn't, it. like, vibe with you, then, like, that's a yeah. totally valid thing to not want to be in a relationship with someone no, of course. who is attending church regularly. Yeah. I feel like this person isn't the asshole... Uh -huh. If they, on um, from the outset, said, like, hey, do you go to church? Do you do this thing? Yeah. And then, like, all of a sudden, we're at family dinner, and we're talking about going to church. Yeah. And also, like, you don't go to church, but now you're just going to suddenly go with your mom. Yeah. Well, so, like, I don't disagree okay. about that. But I think the thing I'm struggling with is, like, the expectation that the boyfriend's not allowed to go to church. Okay. You know what I'm That's saying? That's fair. Okay, I kind of see that. Yeah, I Because, think like, I, if they lied about it, that sucks, right? Yeah. Especially because it does kind of have the... I'm trying to convert you energy, which is gross. Um, but if they did just genuinely change their mind and want to go to church by themselves, yeah. I think that's their business. Like I can understand being like, this is a deal breaker for me. Yeah. Or like, you know, I don't want to be in relationship with you anymore. That is like fair. That doesn't make you an yeah. asshole. But the like, I want to continue being in a relationship with you and you're not allowed to do this thing feels oh, of sort course. of like domineering. I think because I was, know? I think because I was looking at it like, oh, they're going to church all the time now and like yeah. hoodwink them. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, if they lied, that's different. I think that changes my mind. I think, I think with this one too, um, I would definitely need more context yes. or more background uh -huh. because I think to just, I think I obviously agree with you on that one. Yeah. I Sometimes people ask in the comments too, like for information, if yeah. there's something missing. Um, and so I'm curious if somebody in the comments did that because it does seem important. Like the detail about whether they lied or not uh -huh. matters a lot. Like that makes to a me. difference. Yeah. Also, um, no, it seems like pretty much you're the asshole. <laughs> He's allowed to change his mind about changing. Yeah. You cannot control how he practices it. Practices. Yeah. Someone says if it makes you uncomfortable, you need to date someone who doesn't go to church. Like yes. Simple as that. Like I would be exactly. like my my mind like the oh br break yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think it's different if like you know we have been married for 35 years and like all of a sudden they change their mind and they're like upheaving our life, you know? Yeah. Uh, but like they're 18 years old. No, honestly. And that's like my have first dated for too. eight months. Yeah. And so like that's a very normal time for also, people like, to change their minds about yeah. religion and spirituality. And, and if, like, like going to church with your mom as an 18 year old is not like if we suddenly started like, oh, I'm going to yes. go to church with our one of our parents or something. Then I'd, I'd be like, like, what the fuck? Yeah, like that's kind of <laughs> that's weird as fuck, out of left field. Right? Um, but yeah, I think especially because it doesn't sound like it affects it doesn't affect op yeah in this situation if that um ask, if the partner goes to church yeah right because like okay sure you can't go to sunday brunch but like you could go to saturday brunch just as easy but also too you it sounds like they're not the the male the man isn't making yeah her go no either there is like sort of a weird like that his mom's like mad at her and whatever, yeah. which is gross and like that's kind of a fucking red flag personally but also like a pretty stand like i feel like that's like yeah he's 18 years old like i'm not surprised by that yeah hopefully he grows out of that and sets some like valid boundaries with his family but like i don't know damn i, I feel like i yeah I, for what I, it's I, worth i think it might also be a little bit of like a um like dodging a bullet situation. Oh, definitely, yeah. Right, that like if this person doesn't even really like church, but they're going to please their mom and they're going to like be shitty about it, then like yeah. why would you want to be in relationship with that person anyway? Also, the like you don't have to be religious to go to church. It's like I do understand... Sure, I guess technically. I guess. Like, yes, technically. But it's giving like enmeshment. It's giving mama's boy. Yeah. And so like maybe don't be in a relationship like, with him anyway. At 18 years old, like whatever. That's like, I guess sure. I get it. Yeah, you're you a know. child at yeah. that point, you know. But like, 
I'm just saying maybe like <laughs> yeah. maybe this is like a win for everybody on all sides Honestly, if this relationship yeah. just doesn't work out because Damn. if you have really strong feelings about religion and they are, have really strong feelings apparently about not upsetting yeah. their family of origin then like we can just whoop, you know Damn, I think you actually changed my mind because I was, I think that helped out a lot. <laughs> also, too, like I just, I hate not having all the context too. I like, know. You get such this tiny little. I, yes. I, I need their, I need their birth chart. I uh-huh. need their background. Yes. I need to know where they went to school. I need, I need to know to how. Understand. Yes. Yeah. I need to know every piece. No, exactly. Um, I think that's the thing that's hard about these two is that oh, totally. people, especially in the Reddit comment section, will oh. make such snap judgments and be like, "They're a terrible a person. This person's like, we're not a even, narcissist." Like literally, yes. calm down. Like we're not even married calm yet. What do you mean get down. a divorce? Yes, exactly. Honestly, like go to the gym and lawyer up literally go to the gym and lawyer up dumb okay ready? Are you ready for another one yes okay this one says am i the asshole for not allowing my girlfriend's closest friend to stay with us while she visits okay throw away account because my girlfriend follows my main account and checks it regularly my girlfriend 23 female and i 24 male have been together for just over a year we live together in a flat in a large city and both work full-time have a very loving relationship and there have never been any big arguments for the purposes of this post i'll call her alex before we got together we both had some previous partners my girlfriend used to sleep with a couple who lived in who lived a couple of hours away from us fairly regularly, but stopped seeing them a couple of months before we got together. I understand the concept of polyamory is a bit strange to some, and it's not something I've ever really explored myself. I didn't have an issue that Alex had participated in it before, uh, and I'm not, I'm largely not jealous, so I don't mind that she had expressed some interest in trying it in our relationship. I'm understandably a little wary about it. I have some insecurities and personal things to work out before I would be confident enough to express... Uh, confident enough to open up our relationship and I've expressed this to Alex which she appeared to appreciate and understand. Alex is a huge introvert and struggles to make friends so when she began talking to one half of this couple again a few months back I didn't have any issues. For me I was happy to see her gain a close friend again. I initially believed the exchanges to be innocent but when Alex was quite drunk one night she revealed that they had discussed their own previous sexual encounters and indulged a bit of our own. I think he means divulged a bit of our own. Mm -hmm. I let this sit for a few days before we had a fairly emotional discussion about how I felt she was trying to force the opening of our relationship, which I just wasn't ready for yet. She apologized for her actions, but said that it's something she feels she needs to explore. Otherwise, uh, she was unsure if she could ever be truly happy. A few months had passed since then. And one day Alex asked me if her friend could stay with us while they visit her for a few days. I took this as another attempt to force polyamory and firmly said no. We had our first large argument of the relationship where she expressed that it would just be for a few days and we would be saving her friend a few hundred on a hotel but i was extremely against it and told her that i can't trust that she won't break the boundaries of our relationship i can't shake that something i wouldn't be comfortable with would be occurring but i also feel like a huge asshole for stopping my introverted girlfriend from seeing her one close friend for the first time in ages am i the asshole for not allowing my friend to stay at our place i need some help in figuring out what to do next TLDR, my girlfriend's only friend, a previous partner, wants to stay with us while she visits, and I said no. Okay, what are your initial thoughts? I think I have so many, because also, of course, like your own bias and judgment and stuff goes in this, of course. Absolutely. I think it's just always so interesting to me when people go from being polyamorous to like monogamous, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's just always such an interesting. I'm curious about that too. Yeah, Yeah, because then like I feel like. It'd be the same way in the reverse when, like, you're trying to encourage a partner to open up the relationship. Yeah. yeah. I think when we talk about yeah. polyamory yes. and monogamy yes. and the two things, and when we talk about dating and relationship uh, preferences being, um, you know, in the same way yeah. or in a similar way mm-hmm. that you would, like, your sexual preference. Yes. You know? Yeah. Relationship like, I feel like it's very much like, I feel like when things like this happen, it very much highlights the fact that, like, this is a thing that feels true to you Mm -hmm. and so when you are stuffing that down yeah and not not able to participate in that yeah then you are you know like sell like cutting off a piece of yourself yeah Yeah, so i always think it's interesting when you go from polyamory to like monogamy yeah and then like your wish I, i can't tell though if the person is genuinely going to like I going know. towards opening their relationship but also yeah. like with these little breadcrumbs along the way like it would not feel that way yeah also if they're already talking about like if she divulged that while they were yeah. drunk i can only uh-huh. you know what i'm saying uh-huh yeah so kind of makes me shake my head a little bit on that like what is the game pl- what is the like underlying yes like s- surface or under the yeah. surface level hope yes here for, like bring- is there some covert uh yeah. intentions here or like what's yeah. going on but then also as 
a dude, the unevolved male part of my brain where I'm like, like, are we just like missing out on a threesome here or something? Or like <laughs> is, you know what I'm is saying? Like, happening? is that like what is like, is that yeah. his partner's way of like trying Asking to, for that? yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I think the thing that irritates me the most about this whole situation though, is that we're not being, at least as far as we can tell from uh-huh. the post, nobody is being open and honest about their real intentions. Yeah. That kind which of feels irritates like, the fuck out of me. Yeah. You know, especially because you and I have learned this lesson the hard way, but not everybody who claims to be polyamorous um, is polyamorous in like an ethical way or like totally. just because somebody is non-monogamous doesn't mean that they have really developed communication skills. Yeah, I don't even get right? started on all this. <laughs> and Another. so sometimes I think people who call themselves polyamorous and haven't done that work on themselves yeah, um, or like people who are polyamorous, I guess, but just haven't done that work on themselves to like deal with conflict resolution and communication aren't very good at like <laughs> navigating this issue, right? Because like if... The partner here, the girlfriend, I think, yeah. wants to open their relationship, right? Misses being polyamorous mm-hmm. or feels like you were saying oh, like, like, like it, she's like... stuffing that part of herself down or like, yes. you know, denying a, a valid part of her relationship orientation. Yeah. Then say something. No, honestly, right? stop like trying to like shoehorn. Because, yes, there is no, there's no good that can come from trying to covertly uh, like persuade your partner into being polyamorous yes. without having a real conversation about it. Like if that's a non-negotiable or a him. need, yes, then say that. And mm-hmm. then we can put all of our cards on the table and evaluate whether like this is something that works yeah. or doesn't work and like having a fucking adult conversation about it. Yeah. You know, but like this weird sort of like breadcrumbing thing that's happening with the ex-partner and whatever is like, it seems sort of like untrustworthy. Yeah. But then also at the same time, the boyfriend, I'm like, you have no concrete reason to distrust your partner other than that maybe she divulged a little bit about your sex life that you weren't which comfortable like, with. Which like, I guess, but which like. Which sucks, yeah. right? But that's not cheating. Mm-mm. Like, at least not to me anyways. Like, cheating is sort of a amorphous concept that people yeah. will vary with. But like, I, feel like I don't just think. Standard yeah. practice, like for you to share, especially women, I think, mm-hmm. or people who are assigned female at birth. Yeah. Are a lot more comfortable. Yes. With talking about their like, sexuality and their yes. sexual. Yeah. Um, exactly. People, experiences. Yeah. People um, in that, like, you know, sort of vague demographic tend to have a lot more emotionally intimate relationships with friends. Yeah. And so it's very normal and par for the course to discuss things like your sex life with them. I think, especially too, if they were dating previously too, like it makes sense. Yes. Like it just makes sense. Of that course. That come up yeah. like especially too if it wasn't in i would i would feel hurt mm-hmm. if it was in a like a demeaning or like a not meeting of the, course the bar yes kind of if they're thing. talking shit about you yeah to like their oh the sex partner. has never been as good like oh, like that would fucking hurt that would yeah fucking that sucks of course eat me alive but i yeah. think if it was like in an encouraging and like a like respectful way like yes. i really don't see the issue or even just in like like casual conversation so it's not right? really I, like that is airing laundry to some degree but i don't feel like in a in a, such a yeah. And I mean, maybe we're weird about it. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we are weird about it. But I mean, that's kind of the whole point of yeah. this, this situation, too, is that it's our own good goddamn it is opinions. It's our, <laughs> our, our own opinions. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think the distrust that the boyfriend has for the girlfriend seems sort of unwarranted. Yeah. Because it seems like more so a product of his own insecurity than it is uh-huh. reacting to a legitimate threat to their relationship because he also made a a, he also because the boyfriend is the one who's posting this yes um he also the the sentence about not being the jealous type or whatever or Mm -hmm. like she doth protest too much Uh uh-huh um yeah because like then you should be unbothered exactly which is why i don't believe when people are like oh there's no jealousy or like yada yada i feel like (gasps) inherently as humans if you are caring and loving and attached to someone yes like you there is, in, there is some amount of like envy either jealousy, or jealousy or envy yes it's yes. gonna show up in a relationship and, think, and that's fine and impo- it's important yeah to note the difference between the two yes but like also, and also to d- differentiate between the feeling and the behavior yes right? like um because but i just think it's so not honest when you're like oh, oh. i'm not jealous i don't get jealous oh yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. disingenuous it's so disingenuous yeah i think it, so too yeah i think especially because he mentioned having his own insecurities and stuff in yeah. the post too i'm like it's entirely possible that you're reading into something that's not there totally right like yeah. it does kind of come across as like the fundy thing of like men and women could never be friends yes. you'll always yes. want to fuck each other and like granted you know girlfriend and the friend are ex-partners it's like, so that's like a fair line to draw but still that's what that's how i feel about it i don't like, know i don't think there's any like clear asshole here i don't think so either not without a lot more information and a lot yeah. and i guess also without knowing yeah. anyone's true intentions yeah because i think like also too for what it's worth like 
I can humanize the boyfriend being jealous or having an insecurity. Of right? course, of course. Um, I think mostly my frustration. I don't. I might be leaning towards like everyone sucks here. Um, I think if anything, <laughs> honestly, I think if anything, that's the fair one because I feel like yeah. no one is actually being. I feel like we're doing the Stranger Things yes. thing where like no one's actually sharing all of their pieces of the information, yes. like, and so we're all just running out. around like trying to figure out the puzzle, yes. missing the pieces. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. My primary frustration is that we're not using any of our adult communication uh, skills in this moment, yeah. and we could solve so many of these problems so quickly if we could just spit it out literally you know yes okay do you want to look at the comments yeah of course okay did they what did people weigh in oh the top comment says no assholes here um Fair. but okay. you two are ignoring the fact that you aren't compatible she's saying that she needs to explore or she'll never feel truly happy and you say as of now you're not comfortable opening your relationship oh he did say he was not never, comfortable he said that he's open to it in the future but that he's not ready for that oh okay so why are you two ignoring that you both that's want good, different things that's a great that's a great fucking point i feel like that's, that's a fantastic. fair point honestly yeah well and that's you know kind of what we were saying too is that like if everybody would just put their cards face up on the table yeah then, like we can evaluate how important is it to you to explore polyamory eventually right and like, like if this how, is something that yes and like yes. also conversely how ready are you really to actually explore something are you just saying that because you don't want to cause conflict or, like or are you look. actually open yes. to it and you're just afraid right because yes. those are different and those then also the like what work are you willing to put in to deal with your own fear and insecurities like is that a reasonable barrier for you to overcome and to yeah. confront and like really do the work around but also to kind of like shame on the other person then too for being in a relationship and not being upfront that like I want to have a polyamorous style yes. relationship. That shit irritates like, the fuck why, out of me. Why are we playing mono? Why did we do this then? Yeah, like exactly. why did we do this to this this person? Yes, kind of because like that's kind of like the hoodwinking thing. Yeah, I think we were really bad about being biased towards yeah. uh, female and like women and th oh, generally like, in like relationship leaning towards women. Oh yeah. yeah, I think so too. That is one area where we, we are will definitely just predisposed lean towards supporting women always, on this but like also like for good reason. Yeah, I don't take that back. I don't. I'm not going to apologize for that. Speaking of, okay, another one to put that'll probably put us in a pickle. Great, love that. All right, am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend she's being immature for not wanting to spend holidays with my family? Bitch, what? I feel like this yes. hits on so many nails. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Wow, I picked a good one. This is what happens when you don't read stuff or <laughs> proofread. All right. My girlfriend and I have been dating for almost a year. In fact, Christmas will be our eleven and a half month. No. 11 and a half months oh yeah it would be yeah. 11 and a half months i'm so sorry they said dating for a year as yeah. though it was like uh not to be rude of course <laughs> being together for a year is a very no, it's great a length deal. of time but just like saying like i am 38 and three quarters yeah. and two days old no. it just sounded like yeah. that um <laughs> we'll, we'll be our 11 and a half month anniversary together okay. anniversary whatever i am fairly certain that she is my future wife and mm -hmm. i want to do everything i can he put can't. That's a weird typo. Mm -hmm. I can. Oh, I can to make her happy. But I find okay. that uh, we are disagreeing on this holiday related issue and I wanted some perspective. We okay. are both 29. Hey, that's how old we are. Nice. Um, you're older though. I am a child. I prefer older days. women and men. Okay. Um, oh, there's just something about some gray. <laughs> gray hair oh, like, on the and temples? And like some like like when someone looks like they've seen like they've they've experienced some shit. You, you know what I'm saying? You and I both uh, ship Jahira primarily. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. And that says something about us that we're not gonna get into on today's episode. I am a child of divorce and typically <laughs> and I typically spend Christmas Eve and morning with my father and his side of the family, okay. including his wife and my two full and two half siblings. This means that we would stay the night of Christmas Eve and spend the morning of Christmas Day with them. Okay. The problem is stemming from an issue that happened earlier this year. In October, my girlfriend and I attended a family reunion, so that October would be that would have been their nine month. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anniversary. Thank you. Um, they didn't put that in there. I'm just doing that math in my head. Yeah, impressive. Uh, and I attended a family reunion in which my dad's side of the family and all of my siblings and their spouses attended. Okay. On one of those days, we all went out shopping as a way to waste time. At one point, I want to waste time. That sounds so I nice. I literally was just thinking I would that. love that. <laughs> At one point, we went to the store to... Uh, to a store that sold pajamas and my stepmom invited me my two brothers my two sisters and their spouses to pick out holiday pajamas that we would wear on christmas morning Cute. she then proceeded to buy us all pjs to wear on christmas my stepmom did not invite my girlfriend to participate in this even though she was present and thus did not ask her to pick out a pair of pajamas that she would wear on christmas morning at the time i didn't think this was a weird or rude since it was just a family parents kids and spouses but she was there that's weird. Oh, before we even get much that farther into rude. it, I'll, before we go, okay, that's rude as fuck. That's passive aggressive as fuck. That's rude as fuck. That's Do you know just what I'm me. thinking? Uh, I'm thinking it's giving uh, the not say it. No, no, it's like a thing that I don't want to say on the podcast because it's about our personal lives. 
I mean, yeah, of course I know what you're thinking. <laughs> that we will not talk about on the podcast. Thank you. Okay. We're allowed to have some secrets, okay? <laughs> um, but like, right though, it's giving that. Totally, totally, oh totally. My God. Also, they were there. They were there. <laughs> why, why would you not? Why That's would you so not buy rude. them? I'd be like, I'll just stand over here and fuck myself. I'll go fuck myself. I would have yeah. left. I would have been, been, been like, so deuces. I, well, and also like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Literally, I'd been like, me and I uh, guess I am fucking don't matter here. Also, before we can get see any farther, welcome. no wonder you wouldn't want to spend fucking Christmas Day with them. Yeah. If you're not going to be the one, like, talk about looking like a black sheep. Literally. That's so like, fucking all uncomfortable. all of you fucking boners have your matching pajamas. And I guess, like, I just wasn't invited? Please continue. Hands. We're being so mean. Please continue. Later that day, we're allowed to, right? That's yeah. What, uh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone else on the internet gets to be mean. I want to be mean. We're not being mean. On I purpose. want to be just, mean. Oh, my God. Just keep reading. All right. Later that day, my girlfriend confided in me tearfully that she was feeling really isolated and upset that she wasn't included. Also, yeah, high five like to her. Yeah, like a normal human. Yes, high five to her for being vulnerable yeah. and honest. That's so important and also very mature. I don't think she was... I don't think that she was upset that my stepmom didn't buy her something, mm -hmm. but that she wasn't asked to participate in any way, shape, or form. Yeah! Yes! That's exactly yes. the fucking problem! I totally understood her feelings and offered to bring this up to my stepmom and dad, okay. but she said no. Oh, boy. Okay. Fast forward to today, we were discussing our Christmas plans and my girlfriend told me tonight that she isn't sure that she would feel comfortable spending Christmas with my dad's family since she, in her own words, was explicitly excluded from Christmas festivities. I mean, that's true. She was physically, she was <laughs> that's objectively, objectively truthful. And, and that also signaled, I get that. And that signaled to her that she wasn't welcome, i.e. she was invited to pick out matching X-Men's project. Yes, we got that. Yeah, yeah. And thus it would be weird for her to be the- Did you say black? Is this a black odd one out. <laughs> But yes, yes, yes literally. Exactly. Also, the the AC just kicked on. It's freezing. All of a sudden, why is it so freezing cold in here? in here? I was literally freezing. I was wearing a jacket while I was streaming yesterday, and it was freezing. But I saw you put it. You're so cute in your little Nike jacket. Oh, thank that's you. your that's your we're going traveling that's jacket. That's my emotional support jacket. These are my traveling pants. Yeah, they haven't traveled. They have. Tra I, can we? Can you show the camera your shoes, by the way? Because I picked these out. I for bought me. you those shoes. And don't they look fresh as hell? I love those shoes on you. You look so cute in those little pants and your shoesies. You look so cute. Your fit is like really fitting today. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my travel fit. I like it. Do, do, do. Hopefully you're traveling she so didn't want to be the odd one out. I feel like this is totally ridiculous and that she's being immature, but she's really upset about the whole thing. She really doesn't have a good relationship with her family, so I think that's playing a part here. But so I just don't you... know what to do about this. This is so, you know who's being immature? Who's being immature, babe? OP, not the fucking girlfriend. Wowzers. He said, he really said, you're, wait, who's a child? She's a child of divorce? Did we He's say that? He's a child of divorce. Oh. But she apparently has issues with her own family. But also. Why would you say, but she why was excluded. Would you, but why would you not be extra sensitive then? Literally. To the fact you, that your family is you. excluding her. Like if Dog. I knew that she had issues with her own family and then she expressed to me feeling left out and then said, I don't want to go because I feel left out. I would be like, oh my God, that makes total I'm sense. so sorry. I that get makes that. complete sense. Like, what can I do? How can I support you? If you don't want me to talk to my parents about it, how can we fix this? Right? Like, do you and me want to yeah. wear matching pajamas? And then you don't feel I, left we would out. Pick our own. Or like, like maybe we can find matching pajamas for the two of us that are just like sort of vaguely complimentary to my family's oh, matching no, I'd be like, pajamas. Fuck that. Whatever they picked, we're doing well, the opposite to, like, to stand to not, out even more. To not, try to not like, Fine. you know, like rock the boat. But like for real though, Fine. why can you not like offer some kind also how does that like make her immature that, literally that's what i'm saying i think the person who's posting this is being immature because he's saying that like she has no reason to feel the way that she feels which is literally I, fucking nuts no honestly like it's actually insane that he can't understand the basic level of empathy required to get that his girlfriend would feel left out and then feel insecure and sad about that but that's like that's like getting literally picked last hello? for kickball yes like that's like but by your not, boyfriend's family no honestly that sucks that'd be like starting a DD campaign and everyone's like oh sorry we don't have any more room yes and well, they're like but you're gonna watch us play right also can we talk about how gaslighty it is this is not actual gaslighting but just like the energy of that okay to say that like oh you have no reason to feel insecure about this you're being immature hello hello what are you talking about? Like, of course she has a like reason to feel insecure. Like, having so many emotions uh -huh. is such a drag. It, it kind of feels like when people who do actually gaslight you say, like, oh, my God, you're being so dramatic. Good like, God. you're always so sensitive. Yes. Why are you being so dramatic? Oh, my like, God. Because you're being really fucking mean to me. That's Literally. why. That's fucking irritating. I don't like that person. Well, we're not I'm even annoyed. done yet, so just hang in there. There's more? We're almost done. But I just don't know what to do about this. I am not willing to not... I'm not willing to not spend Christmas with my family, and she seems upset about it. To her credit, she will be the only person there that won't have a set of matching pajamas yes. with everyone else. So I get the awkwardness, but I don't think that's a good enough reason to skip Christmas res Christmas result together. 
Christmas, whatever. Yeah, I told Christmas her as such. Probably. Am I the asshole for being upset that she refuses to spend Christmas with my family? That's not the, the TLDR mm-hmm. that she just doesn't want to spend Christmas no, with your no, family. No, 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 no. That's because not the TLDR because you sat there in public, which also even more mortifying yes. to just be like, I'm sure, like this yes. happy little family going yeah. and getting their matching pajamas yeah. and you're just sitting off the side like fucking twiddling your dicks. But like also, do you know what this reminds me of? Tell me. When... Things eventually finally boil over between a mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law and the, oh. the boyfriend or the husband this entire time has been saying, "I she it's not that she doesn't like you. She's not doing that yeah, on purpose. She's I'm not guilty. being passive aggressive. Yeah. It's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Only for things to get to the point where it's so overt that it can no longer be denied. Yeah. Because, like, this is very much that, right? The, like, well, oh, my mom's not being mean to you because she didn't invite you to buy pajamas with us. She just didn't think it mattered. Or, like, it's giving, it's giving, I don't think you'll be around that long, so I don't need to spend. But, like, you're choosing to side with your mom over your partner, which, like, that's fine if you you want to do that. But, like, if you are going to do that, then you have to understand that the consequences of that choice are yours to own. And it's not your girlfriend's job to absolve you of the consequences of your cowardly decision because you can't sit with your shit about, like, confronting your family unit and like rocking the boat that's not her fucking fault no also too can you just imagine like being like i'd be like mom what the fuck like exactly that's what i'm saying why because like in that moment is the time when he should have said oh we're getting pajamas for her too right literally mom literally because like that's like a very basic way of standing up for your partner to make sure that she's not or left like in the no dust. i don't want any especially like you're right if that's the woman that he wants to marry yeah well, then why are you not standing up for her? Drop the ball. Why on that are you one, not making a conscious effort to encourage and invite your family to like yeah. incorporate her into their traditions? Ooh, ooh, Hello. Oh, that makes me mad. That you're just the fuck. Away. I know you're memeing, but it does. Actually no, make me it mad. makes me mad. It does make me mad. I'm me- I'm being over the top. Yes. Let me meme. Everyone else on the internet gets to meme. <laughs> I want to meme. <laughs> but it seems like you're memeing because you don't actually think that he's being shitty. He is being shitty. Oh, okay. Huh, what do you listen? I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure I'm on the same page. Have, uh, what do the comments say? Actually, I think you're the asshole. She was specifically excluded from a family tradition when she was standing right there as your partner. Thank you. I would definitely not want to go to a family function and yes. as the only person who's dressed differently. Also, just like... <sighs> oh, the other thing, should, too, is that... Okay, so whatever, right? Let's you should say that just they bought her on yourself. Yes, that's you. But also, it's weird than... Too, sorry. Let's say that they bought matching pajamas um, at a time that she wasn't there and, like, there's plausible deniability oh. of, like, we just forgot, <sighs> right? Like, still shitty, but at least I can sort Less? of be, like whatever right like maybe they forgot you guys have only been dating for a year and so like i don't 11 know maybe and they a half just months. maybe they just didn't really think about it yeah but she's standing right there that, there's there no... is no plausible deniability for why they didn't buy her pajamas other than to intentionally send the message that you're not fucking part of our yes. family you're not yes. included here that's so fucking neat also yeah it's important for you to make your partner feel welcome thank inviting. you also you took you invited her shopping like she's there yes. with you so then why would you not fucking try to make her feel encouraged and like incorporated? Yeah. Someone said, you're the asshole, bro. You're basically telling her it's okay. My family excludes you and you need to suck it up. Yes. And also I'm not going to do anything if about I, it. If I were her, I'd consider dumping you. Yes. Lack of insight and empathy. Does. Yeah. No, we're on the same list. Especially like, because he called her immature. Oh my when, God. When the truth is that he's the one who's being emotionally immature for not having any empathy. I would have become unglued. Pissed. I would be so If I became mad. unglued, you would have become untethered at the seams. You can make fun of me all you want, but that's actually true. No, honestly. Anytime that you get mad, I'm like double mad for you. I know. I'm so protective. That's fucked up. I'm actually mad. I'm heated. That was a good one. That would be. I. I can't even think. Like, whoa, the time just flew by. I know. Um, if my family did that to you, immediately I'm throwing hands. Immediately, I'd be like, Yo, what the fuck? And my family (laughs) did do that, and look what happened. (laughs) Look what happened. Now we don't talk to them. But no, for real though. Like, I can't. Can you even imagine? No, my I, mom endlessly fucking buys shit for both of us. She would buy something for me before she would buy something for you. She would genuinely. Actually. Um, but no, even when um, she sends like our birthday gifts and oh, stuff, yeah. there's always something in there for us to like share or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, I I just can't even imagine my family purposefully excluding you and just being like, I know we're so enmeshed, like, and I know and I know this, but like yeah. also at a certain point after you've been together and married, and I know they're not there yet or whatever. Sure, but, like, sure, sure. The goal and the hope. I don't know yes. if it's a goal, but like you become kind of a, a, a for a lot of people unit. that's the plan yeah you know like you get like when we We're ask for gifts we ask for gifts that are yes useful for both of us like we want uh what a hatchet 
or a, not a hatchet. No, uh, I want a meat cleaver. A meat cleaver. I, I want a meat cleaver wait. so I want, bad. I just want, I just want a <laughs> yes. Like, Think of all the soup I could make, baby. You with have been killing cleaver. it on the soup. Thank you. That potato leek soup you made? Or I am potato, um, a soup queen. Oh my God. And you, you blended it and then... So um, Everybody on stream was telling me to buy an immersion blender, by the way. So we might have to add that to our Amazon. Was that the one with the, the thing? Yeah. Yeah, the I think it's probably blenders. about time for those. Those aren't the same things that heat the. That's a sous vide. The yeah, sous vide. I do really want a sous vide also. Why did we not but put we that just, in the. Because we don't eat meat often enough. I don't eat. Also, too, like, I, then if you I want to eat it crisp. Well, yeah, because that's the thing. You, you sous, vide it, sous vide it and then you either sear it or you sear it first and yeah. then you sous vide it. But, like, it's a lot of work. Uh, We're just not really doing. Yeah, all that. but you're We're soup. Lazy. You are the soup. Soup extravaganza. Soup. What do we? You're the soup jester. Yeah, <laughs> my soup jester. That's me. I love it. I, you picture you with a little hat. Wait, and I little, want a little hat like with little, bells. That's hilarious. Put, no, instead of the bells, they're like green onions or they're leeks. Yeah. Oh my they're god, stop! End. Wait, me, not me. Homebrewing my next D and D character. I was thinking merch. <laughs> That's also, true. the people want your yeah. face on I'm their, gonna their make bodies. It. I'm going to make it, okay? Okay. I'm trying do you want to do another one or do you want to... I'm good with that if you are. Let that me look was... at what my next one is because okay. I did prep another one, but I can't remember. If wow. It's... it's so fun because sometimes you get duds I and know. sometimes you get a good one. You never know. know what you're going to get. Okay, wait. I did save this one a while ago. Oh. Well, tell me. Um, I think somebody posted this in the Discord. Um, also, what a great time to do holiday stuff. I know. What a holiday, fun holiday. We talked about how shitty capitalism was, yeah. how it sucked the joy out of mall shopping and online shopping yeah. has taken over. How rightfully fun. so, though, because they make it impossible to find yeah. things in the store. No, they really do. And then Especially we're going to talk Walmart. about pajamas. Um, okay, so this one is not explicitly holiday related. Okay, that's fine. Um, but somebody tagged me in this in the Discord, I'm pretty oh. sure. And I was going to talk about it in the like Therapist Reacts episode that we're filming, but there's so many things I think this fits Sarah. here. Um, <laughs> so, is that the right saying? I don't think so. Uh, okay, this says, I'll get one. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for firing our family therapist after she asked for tips? She asked for tips, like to read. My ex and I have a 12 year old boy who's going through some things. We found a therapist and we've been seeing her for a couple of years. Okay. It hasn't been life changing for me in any way. In fact, I became more of a pointless chore like making your bed or folding your underwear. I might have gotten a few things out of it, but I would not do it again. A few weeks ago, I had told our therapist that it's bizarre to not have to worry about money for the first time in my life. I make good money and I don't have many bills. I'm okay. saving like $1,000 a month. Love that for her. Go off. Uh, last week, the therapist asked me if I could start making a copayment. I don't have a copayment because my insurance covers 100% of therapy sessions. I explained that to her. She said... Oh, asking for tips. I think you meant like, how do I do like five tips to support She said you. that was true, but maybe I could start paying like $20 cash because she's not making a lot with what my insurance pays her. Like a tip. I was at a loss for words. I said, and I suppose this has no relation to my telling you that I had disposable income from a few weeks ago. She said, of course not. It was like she was asking for a raise. <laughs> Um, I said I'd think about it. I talked to my ex and said I was firing the therapist. She told me not to throw away two years of work, and I said this therapist tried taking advantage of me. She offered to pay, and I said I'm not stopping you, but I'm not doing the sessions anymore, and neither is our son. Uh, the trust I had in our therapist is forever broken. I left a voicemail and a text message explaining that we weren't in need of her services anymore. I haven't heard back. Guess what? Our lives didn't fall apart, uh, and the therapist replied that I totally misunderstood this whole tip thing. Wow. Initial I think thoughts. this is for you. <laughs> I mean, I thought when you said tips, I thought yeah. you meant like five tips to <clears throat> no, help no, 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 support no. your ADHD. No, like tips. like I'm just going to turn the screen around for you. Like you want you want me to hit the you <laughs> just said Just a few questions for you. <laughs> Can you even imagine? I would simply pass away. Our our therapist, if he asked that, I would be like, "You know, honestly, <laughs> that's fair. You have done no. the Lord's work." <clears throat> but like if I'm no, obviously I just be like I'd like can you just deserves say, tips because we love them. Yeah. But I would never like there's so many better ways just like my rates are raising. Yes. I was gonna say let's clarify a few things here. First and clarify. foremost, um anytime a therapist takes money from insurance, I do want to be clear, usually they're not getting paid a lot of money. Insurance oh, God, companies no. are terrible, um, and they're simultaneously stealing money just, from the people that they claim to insure and the people that they claim to, you know, get payouts is a to. Scam. Insurance sucks. Uh In this is why uh, you know, like free health care for all. We deserve universal health care. Oh, but sure, no, totally. Let's pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month for the same fucking thing. But yeah, God forbid yeah. the government Let's fund a genocide a instead. 
no big deal. Go on. Anyways, so that's like fair. Like I understand being frustrated about not making a lot of money. However, there is never a time when it's appropriate to make it at your client's responsibility. Uh, the, the insurance company is not paying you a lot of money. Even when the insurance company goes back and does um, oh, an adjustment. audit oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. says, yeah, or an adjustment and says like, we're taking this money from no, you. No, isn't that crazy? It's they can not do that? appropriate for you to try to like hold clients hostage for that money. Like some therapists will differ mm -hmm. in their like perspective about asking clients to like, oh, you still owe me money, blah, 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 yeah. whatever. But like, especially like the tips thing, like just no. I remember you Absolutely ran into this all not. the time. There was that one client that owed a hundred. It was like, yes. Uh, yes. It's like, it'd be like going to get your oil changed. Yeah. And then like two weeks later, they're like, oh, hey, Just by kidding. the way, that oil cost us a little bit more than we thought. Can we have 25 yeah. more dollars? Like literally no. I was like, no, bitch, we're already done. Absolutely fucking not. Like um, only insurance. But so, yeah, the thing that is important, though, is that therapists should never be asking for tips. We're not even allowed to solicit it's, reviews. It's against the rules, I thought. Yes, Like you're not supposed to ask for anything, no. really. We're not even allowed to solicit reviews from our clients yeah, because gifts the, are, the, the gifts, too, are, are problematic because the board um, categorizes it as uh, placing an undue uh, or, you know, like leveraging an undue influence yeah. on your clients is like the verbiage. You're not allowed to weaponize your position of power as the therapist to force your client to do anything or to try to persuade yeah. them to do anything, least of all give you gifts. But also on top of that, this is like a conflict of interest. This is now a dual relationship oh, it's where so like messy. the lines have become blurred because this is no longer a professional relationship, yeah. but rather one where you are providing me with like essentially a gift basically or like extra money just because. Like that's not fucking yeah. allowed. There are like rules, I guess, about how therapists can manage like working for like trades, for example, in really rural areas. Okay, yeah. Um, or like, you know, if you live in an area like, you know, there's one stoplight and there's 12 people in the whole city. Fair enough. Um, it's inevitable that you'll run into people that you know as a clinician. You can have different rules. There are ways to navigate that, but this, the, there's no, no provision in any code of ethics Like, are you raising your, price, your prices for everyone? Literally. Are you asking all of your clients for tips? Well, and that's the thing is that if you're not happy with the amount of money that the insurance company is paying you, A, fucking tough bananas you can't really do anything about that but b raise your rates then and no longer accept insurance like that's the those are the resources that are available to yeah. you is to either like tough bananas you just like that's what the insurance is paying you and deal with it or to say i'm no longer taking insurance everybody's rates are going up yep. which like sucks right but like that's just the way that it is sometimes if you wanna, but if you want to do that then like do that right don't everyone, ask yeah. for extra money on top that's wow. so unethical thanks discord that was a good one like what the fuck is that that's actually nuts. Also, the fact that the I therapist can't. wasn't doing anything in the first place. I'm just like, yeah, somebody said not the asshole. Contact your insurance company. They'll probably want to drop her entirely if they find out about this. Yeah. This is like literally illegal. That's it, actually it fucking so, nuts. It's so unethical. I can't believe that somebody would say that out loud either. Like, hello. And like, oh, you misunderstood me. Like, nope, I don't think I uh -uh. did. No, I really did not. That's crazy. Swarmy, swarmy, smarmy, smarmy. Yeah. No. Gross. Gross. All right. I think that's a nice one to wrap up on. Wow. Thanks for that. Damn. I know. That was good. That was perfect. Tea. Wow. Okay. Thanks for hanging in there and listening and I Thanks can't wait for... to hear everyone's opinions. I know. Yeah. Definitely leave us your thoughts in Sound the comments off. below. Um, like I said, I'm fully prepared for some of you to be mad at me because of our opinions in this episode, but that's part of the fun. So but also too, the cool thing is if you guys come up with a really good point, always, true, always actually. receptive, that's always a good receptive point. and open. I like to I'm think not, that we're I, pretty good at that. I'm never that sold on any of these. Also, these are kind of like fair. fun little stories. I'm not even sure they these are. are real people. So, I'm sometimes, yes. I wonder, I oh really do wonder. People with, lie. Oh, absolutely. I'm about to go in there and start making up fun little stories. Stupid. You know, you know what would be kind of funny though? Is if we tried to toe the line of like making up fake stories without them being obviously fake and to see how long it takes one of them to get featured on a podcast. Oh, I would love to do that. <laughs> and just be like, oh, we made this. So that's ours. Like that's, this is our, yeah, our little We're Trojan trolling. horse baby. No, this is terrible. Yeah, We're that's the ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys now you're gonna have to keep on your toes with these are real or we're making them up. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. Yes. If you like the pod and you want to support us, you can like and subscribe. Uh you can join our Patreon in the description. And hang out with us. Yeah, exactly. And then uh I'll see you for streams tomorrow and for our main channel video on Saturday. Okay, bye. Bye.